Hello and welcome back to the Broken Reddit channel. I'm Loki and I'm playing Scrolls. It's time for the last uh, match in the Judgment Tournament. Uh, I've got two wins and two losses so far. So let's see if we can win this last one. It would be uh, nice. Uh, at the moment I am at two wins, so 250 gold and one rare. If I win one more I will get 500 gold and I will get an extra uncommon as well. So let's find a match. And let's see who we're facing. Horus Dudley. Oh, he's quick with uh, the greeting. And I'm playing first. And uh, let's see, we've got a Pup Soldier and Grizzly Graft, which are pretty. well, not that useful at the start. I'll get rid of the Grizzly Graft first. And we've got a Loyal Darkling and two Infected Grave Locks that we can start pumping out at this turn. Can't say I'm not happy uh, with that. So far he is playing Groat. Although he might uh, have a second resource type as well. Kinfall Granger, 2-2-3. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. And let's get rid of the bunny as well. And get another grave log out. Then next turn before he can attack I can get the loyal darkling out. And he can absorb the hit. If there is going to be one. Uh, let's see. Animavar. Don't really need that. Infectious Blight isn't going to kill it in time. I'm going to sacrifice Animavar for cards. Another Loyal Darkling. That's quite nice. Uh, he's gonna attack this turn. I'm gonna play the Darkling up here. Just because if I play the Darkling in this part, uh, he might have moved the Kinfolk Ranger up. Oh, he still does it. Okay, that's f fine. Then this idol will still get 2 damage. That's what the Darklings are for. Absorbing the hits. Otherwise uh, the Gravelock would have been able to kill one. Let's see, all non-human units get kind and increased by 2 after attacking? Damn it. That's a hard one. And there's pretty much nothing that I can do about it, at least not now. Um, blood boil, vacuous blight. I think I'll get rid of pestis for now. I think I'm going for the cards because I want something to deal with uh, the banner. And that tree held is annoying as well, because most of the creatures that I do have, have a attack of two. So it's gonna take two attacks to get rid of it as well. And these are humans, so they don't get the increased, uh, increased cooldown. Kills the Gravelock quite effect efficiently. This isn't going too well. Uh, let's see. 
We've got the repo that we can play, we've got the infected grave locks. I think I'm gonna do it like this. And the grave lock can absorb an attack for the repper. Since the repper is quite a bit more fragile. And get that one out. I want my poisons to start ticking as well. Before it gets too much other stuff on the board. Especially now that I got the miasma well. This is one damn annoying banner. Of course with 3 health it's normally pretty easy to take care of, but for only 2 uh, order I think it's pretty strong. Uh, I still need to get rid of that creature before it can do anything. Uh, let's see. Watcher. I want my poison sticking. That's what I said, but he is gonna die. I'm going for Watcher first then. And I'm playing the Miasma well down at the bottom. I'm tempting to sacrifice it anyway for cards, but I do want to play it next turn. I'm not a fan of not playing, uh, not sacrificing anything in a turn, but sometimes it's just too hard to sacrifice a card. This guy's gonna be annoying, he's gonna take the hits for the Royal Banner. That's gonna hurt me quite a lot. Because my grave locks don't get the, uh, or still get the increased cooldown. Countdown. Although these two don't. But this one is gonna die now anyway. Uh, let's see, he is gonna attack as well. Can't kill it in time. Oblivion Seeker, I can't play it yet. Let's see what else I get. Damnic Curse, destroy a creature, that is quite nice. And this one is useless in this turn. So I'm going to use Infectious Blight on this guy, so it will die next turn. Now he will die in two turns, which is not gonna be enough to prevent him from attacking. So I will need a creature next turn. Fleetness does. Base countdown is reduced. That's also a damn strong card. He's going to attack every turn now. Well, he's still only going to attack once. So unless he can heal him... He is gonna die. I can use the Elmire Hunter, who will survive the attack. Or I could have used the Ripper and a random idol would have gotten 3 damage again. Might have been a better idea. But that's too late now. Oh, he also... okay. So he's going to die anyway. 
plate armor. So the combat damage is reduced by one. But his health is also increased, so he is going to survive another turn. Uh, or not, because my Miasma will... If I play my Miasma well, he will die. He will get 3 uh, poison damage then. Are oh, they only die? Okay. This damage only happens when they die from non-combat damage. I didn't really think that one through. So, the Miasma well down here. He will die. Poison will spread to the Mangy Wolf, who will die the turn after it works then. Healing deck. Oh, uh, damn it, the Berserker heals as well. Uh, I believe it's random. Well, let's see how it works out. Poison or healing first. Ah, damn it. <sighs> but the poison damage was reduced by the... Still reduced by the play down. Uh, Played armor, I think. Oh no, the Druid Burial Ground heals as well. So he heals for 2 and he gets 3 damage. I really need to get rid of him. So that's too bad for the poison, but he's gotta die. Uh, what will he do then? He will kill the Gravelock. If I use Damning Curse now, he will kill the Ripper instead. Ah, uh, why is this? I'm not liking this at all. My Archers, will that kill him? I think it will. Let's try it. Languid on the wolf, so he doesn't do any damage. There, that kills him. Now the wolf has the poison. Although that cost me way too much stuff to get that guy out of the way. Well, at least my situation is a bit better now. Uh, let's see, does not gun down when something dies. I am tempted to use... No, if I use Damning Curse, then the Gravelock will die before attacking. So I won't get to kill the Royal Banner. So he is a bit lucky there again. And let's get rid of Ranger's Bane for cards. Rot Eater. Kills another unit, throw and scroll. Let's get the Rot Eater out and try to end life on him. There we go. That clears up his board for a bit. Although he has plenty of stuff to come back with. As I said last time, a single quake will decimate my army. And he's got quite a lot of creatures up now. Uh, this guy is going to attack every turn again. I hate those guys. I think I'm gonna take one hit and then use Training Miss next turn. And... 
guess I'll play the Harvester. I think I'm going to get rid of the Damning Curse. And use the Viscera Sage. Uh, he will die in one hit though. I'll play him up there. So I'll take one hit. And then next turn I can use Draining Mist to slow them. All three of them. That gives me an extra creature. Or extra creature, not really, but it does buff the Rot Eater. And it didn't remove a creature, at least. Although if he doesn't summon anything in front of his banner, it will finally die. Now this is a happy change, because Arvester can take a punch. Don't really mind him taking two damage. So, Draining Mist. Yep. Grizzly Craft, I... Might save it, because that can be a real killer now. Let's see, what would it mean? It would mean that two totems will get a random damage from him. He will get buffed up one, two, three, four. Not gonna use it yet. I actually might prefer some extra cards instead of it. And another Infectious Blight, really nice. I like that a lot. So next turn my Infectious Blight can start taking off damage again. And I'll start with... The Wings Shield, I think. I'm not sure if armor reduces only combat damage or all armor, or all damage. Okay, he's building up quite a big army now. Okay, he can give me a, uh, a card draw, or scroll draw if you prefer it. Damning Curse can kill off a creature, and but it will hurt me a lot. I'll go for the Blight first. I'm gonna take the bet that armor doesn't reduce poison damage. I think that's pretty safe to assume. I think I'm going to hold on to the Damning Curse for now and get rid of Blood Boil. And I get another Grave Lock. Okay. And another Grave Lock. And that was good, so the Kinfolk Ranger will die before attacking as well. Or not. That's too bad. If I would get another uh, mist thingy, that would be very nice to turn. If I can slow down four creatures of his would be nice. I believe I have this call two times in my deck and I seem to have cycled through my deck already. A hunter, a blood boil, I will sacrifice. Okay there's a lot of damage incoming I need to uh, think about that as well. He will kill the ranger they will get 5 damage on the idol. They will get 4 damage on the idol. That is all fine and well. Do I need some... Tanky 
something to get in front of him, so I'll get him out. And get a grave lock out as well then. So that's quite a bit of damage on his idols. And now there's quite a bit of damage incoming on my side as well. Okay, that one is nasty. Another Berserker. Hopefully he's not gonna play the combination again. And let's see, the Wing Soldier is gonna die, I'm gonna get a card draw. This bunny can go. Repair it down to nature. Not useful. I think I'm gonna play it safe and play the Damning Curse on the Berserker. And get the other grave log out as well. So he's got a choice now, he can either kill off my Sage, which is giving me Kaldras, or my Miasma well, which buffs my poison damage. If he kills the Mage, he also blocks uh, the Idol from being destroyed. But if he's not gonna act against it, uh, the top 3 Idols will die in... Not next turn, but the turn after. I think that did just kill him. He's gonna destroy this idol, he will destroy this idol. Actually, he is dead. I can move him down, him up, him down. Yes, this is a GG. I cast return to nature on my... Oh, I can't. Cast... Oh, what did I do? Oh, it's only on enemies. I thought it did something else. Um, oh well, let's just improve our odds then for a bit. Uh, language on on him, reduce some damage. He can't uh, reach the top top row in time. Let's see if I put up a Darkling on the top row, he will die in two turns, no matter what happens. Because he pretty much can't prevent that this damage in any way. Uh, 
And I got a second one as well. Just to make it even more certain. Too bad I can't call them off myself. Yeah, Potter isn't gonna save him. <laughs> Nobody won't save him either. Because these guys just have to die. That's all they have to do. It's just too bad I can't kill them myself. Neither can I with these cards. I could improve the odds just a bit more. Best is on him. Uh, let's see, would Loyal Dark and Sacrifice strike a Watcher Puck? Uh, yes it does. But only when they're next to the Watcher. Yep, it's only when they're adjacent to it. But it doesn't matter because when I sacrifice them, the idol will get to damage anyway. He dies this turn. Yeah, that was a nice match. Uh, that Berserker on the start really scared me. Uh, let's see, get, let's get this one out, and let's get this one out, and sacrifice him. So, finals stats, we've got 3 victories, so we get 500 gold, 1 uncommon and 1 rare card. A purification draw? Uh, that purification draw wasn't gonna help him, I think. But maybe for the Berserker at the start, he was still replying to that one. Oh well. So, I get two cards to keep. Which ones shall it be? The Rot Eater, which is uncommon. I do want one of those. Loyal Darkling, I think I want one of those as well. Oblivion Seeker, all these cards are good. But I think the one that I want the most is... You're not telling me that's a common. Okay, it seems that uh, Infectious Blight is a common. That's too bad, because that was a card that I really wanted. So instead I will go for Miasma well, I think. Yeah, I do want a second one of those for my normal deck. Two out of two. Why can I still pick any cards? Hmm. 
because now I should... Oh, in fact his blight is a rare, oh. <laughs> I think uh, for the first draw I only got to pick from the uncommons. And now the rares are added. Elmire Hunter is added. Damning Curse is added, yep. Harvester. Watcher, Watcher was really nice as well. I do like that one. Uh, but I will go for the Infectious Blight, I think. I want to focus on building up a poison deck uh, first. But I think I'm going for a sacrificial deck as well. So I'll need a bit of both. Actually, I might want to re-pick. It's hard to choose. I think I'll just stick with these and go for the... Uh, uh, the sacrificial cards later. So, yep, collect reward. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the match. Um, I've got just just uh, not enough gold to go for another uh, judgment tournament. So I might uh, throw in a random match in between. Uh, and afterwards I will come with another judgment tournament, another draft. So I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!